can't like one. Put a map up of where station is because it's just gonna sit in one spot. And it's not yeah. Fun. Do you have her location? No. He has a an Android. <laughs> What's up guys? On the way to the airport to go to South America for three months. Any final words, parents? I'll miss you. Thanks. Stay. Okay. Any final words? Leave. <laughs> Thank you. So I found this empty gate so that I can vlog um, in private. So I'm at the Raleigh airport right now and I'm flying to Miami and then I have a layover and then I'm flying to Lima, Peru. And I'm volunteering for four weeks there. Um, I don't really know the what I'll be doing yet. They told me I'll be working with kids, but they can't guarantee that. So some kind of volunteering in Lima for four weeks. And then my friend Alicia, who you, you avid vlog watchers remember from my Camino vlogs. Um, my friend Alicia from Germany is meeting me in Peru the day my volunteering finishes. And we're gonna be traveling around for probably about two more months. And that we have no plan for. I don't know what the English situation will be. My Spanish is a lot rustier than it was even a few months ago. It just keeps getting worse and worse because I'm not practicing. So hopefully I'll be able to get by. I think I'll get it back quickly and I hope to use it every day so that I can actually like improve. That's my goal of this whole gap year is to get good at Spanish and I have not been doing that. So that is my goal number one. And you know, I want to just make some friends and explore and yeah, my volunteering, I only volunteer for like five hours, five days a week, and the rest of it is all free time. So I want to get into a groove, kind of get into a routine and like do exploring, go exploring and stuff on the weekends. Um, yeah, I want to hike Machu Picchu. I want to see a bunch of different cities. I want to go sandboarding, just like snowboarding in the sand. And I want to hike a lot. I didn't bring my hiking backpack, but I thought that would be fine. And I brought my sleeping bag and for like some hostels and stuff. I really didn't pack very much. I have, so I have this little carry-on suitcase and then I have like my old school backpack. There's this small little Jansport that I've had since middle school. Um, and so I packed probably like five outfits, like a couple t-shirts and like one cute outfit. And then flip-flops and running shoes and that's it for shoes and then yeah my sleeping bag and my computer I brought and my phone and my camera and that's really it so I just literally walked around the airport like three times to get my steps in before I sit on a plane for eight hours actually no it's um like a two-hour flight to Miami and then I have a two-hour layover and then I have like a six-hour flight to Lima I'm in the Miami airport and I'm getting bagels right now because I'll be on the flight for like six hours so I need some food chapel in the airport in Lima. So I arrived in Lima and I just got my vaccination for yellow fever because it was $320 in the US and it was only $45 here which is way better. So I got my vaccination and um, I found a guy had a sign with my name on it waiting when I got off the airplane. So I found him and now we're waiting for another girl um, just picking up a few volunteers at once. So now he just told me to stand right here. So I'm standing here waiting for him. And I'm very tired. It's like 11.30 and my volunteering orientation starts at 7 a.m. tomorrow. Now it's midnight and we're still waiting. So I'm sitting on the floor. I used up my free Wi-Fi. I landed like two hours ago. <laughs> I'm so tired. We are learning how to teach the kids. So this is one of the courtyards at the school. It's actually really nice, like better than I thought. So it's 10.45 and we have our first break. Well, it's actually our only break of the day. We have a break from 10.40 to 11 and our teaching hours are nine to 12. So this morning I took an hour and a half, really rocky, kind of scary bus ride all the way over here. So we're like, in the outskirts of Lima, and I'm staying in San Miguel. So yeah, it's an hour and a half. We woke up at six, left by seven, um, walked to the bus stop all together, all the teaching, all the teacher volunteers. We have been doing stuff since 
literally 6 a.m. I'm so exhausted, and now we have orientation. We had like a 20 minute break, so I just tried to take a nap, and I just did not fall asleep. So I can nap in like five hours, maybe. Also for breakfast, all I had was a piece of bread and a banana. And for lunch, all I had was plain rice and cucumbers and watermelon. And I am so hungry. And I feel like there's no vegan food for me. <sighs> Have a little view of this city. I just took a little walk outside. This is the street where I'm staying. So it's just a little bit down this way. So here is our living room. We eat family dinner here every night, actually for every meal. This is Kelsey. This is Amy, my roommate. Where are you guys from? Uh, Massachusetts, California. <laughs> nice. So earlier we went to the mall. I didn't vlog it because I was a little, you know, had to <laughs> warm up to them. This is my vlog. I don't know if you want to be a part of it. Hey guys. <laughs> I love it. This I'm is Winnie. Someone vlog in front of me. Yeah, you have to. We're vlogging live right now. Oh my god. <laughs> live action. Anyways, earlier we went to the mall. Guys, you know he's on GoPro. Let me know. Honestly, yeah. Hey guys. <laughs> hey guys, this is Winnie. She's a GoPro, you know, she's pretty cool. <laughs> this is Ethan from Canada. He's gonna make a vlog as well. Hold on. Like a 